you need to know about BRICS in 2024. I did a video on this last year or the year before, and a lot has changed, but you need to know about BRICS in 2024. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you why you need to know and why it is so important that you share this video with friends and family who may not know about BRICS in 2024. Welcome to the channel if you're new. My name is Ashley. On my channel, Ashley in Africa, I talk about my experience of living, moving, and doing business here on the continent of Africa. I currently live in South Africa, which is the S in BRICS. And why this matters is because when I made my informed decision, I knew that I wanted to go to a growing eco economy and a growing economic conglomerate because quite frankly, the country that I was coming from was on the decline and everybody knew it, they could feel it, but for some reason, people weren't doing anything about it. I also started an academy. I'm the founder of Africa Investors Academy, which is a community of entrepreneurs building businesses location independently for the growth of Africa. Essentially, I'm teaching them to share their skill set so that they can build a business on the continent for the growth of the continent, okay? And so if this type of content sounds interesting to you, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel as well as share it with someone else who would find value in it. So BRICS, what is BRICS? BRICS originally was formed as an economic conglomerate between the countries of Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. Today, those countries are still the core of the conglomerate, but more countries have been added on, including Egypt, Ethiopia, Iran, and the UAE, okay? And so what is the goal of BRICS? The goal of BRICS is to seek and establish deeper ties between these member nations and cooperate on economic expansion, including trade, right? Also including skill share. Um, these countries act as a counterbalance to the Western influence. So last year I reported that the BRICS uh, GDP had exceeded that GDP of the G7. Why does this matter? Well, it shows the promise that these economies are growing and they are doing so independently of sanctions put on them by the US or different initiatives that are intentionally attempting to stunt their growth. And why should you know about this? Why should you care? Well, this economic conglomerate also is going to affect economic and political influence. So this expansion, um, when it recently underwent expansion, um, the last BRIC summit was hosted here in South Africa and several new members, including Egypt, Ethiopia, Iran, Saudi Arabia, and the UAE joined the conglomerate. Now, what their full participation looks like is still being discussed and negotiated, but regardless, these countries said, we want to come together and we want to be a part of this economic and political influence, influential growth that is happening, that is currently taking place. The goal is they want to challenge the traditional power structure. The bail is, it's not only been pulled back, it's been exposed, is there, is shouting at people that are paying attention. The global influence of the West, specifically of the US, is no longer dominating global trade, global moving, global economics, and there needed to be another conglomerate to counterbalance the bullying that has been happening from the West for centuries. Okay, so what does this look like for people in the US? Well, there's going to be an impact on global trade and finance. It's actually already happening. We're seeing CEOs, you know, sell off their shares of their, their, their American companies, their American-based companies. Don't just ignore these things. These things are stark signs that the economic imbalance is happening. People are taking their dollars while they are still relevant and shifting them to foreign investment markets. Um, there is a reduced reliance on the US dollar. So companies, countries, excuse me, are trading with their global current, their, their local currency 
right? I spoke about it before where Tanzania and India are trading in goods and commodities between their own currencies without having to go through the Federal Reserve and the Swiss system to trade in US dollars. This is also happening from the UAE, right? They are doing this and it's going to continue to grow. The dependence upon the dollar is going to mean the, 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 the dependence on the dollar has meant in the past that countries had to bow down to American influence. Well, we are seeing that shift happen everywhere. We are seeing them being called out. We are seeing them being sanctioned essentially by other countries, even though this is not being reported in Western media, this is actively happening. And so you need to know about this because this allows you to make informed decisions where unfortunately Americans are currently being blinded by what is happening um, outside of their country because the media is only sharing with you what they want to, to share, which is why the importance of platforms um, like YouTube are so, so, so important. And so this is obviously on YouTube. It's not a sponsored post, but my ability to share this information and also gather this information is has been fantastic and something that I'm just so grateful for and honored to share. So if you're finding this content valuable, please like it and share it with someone who would also find, find value in it. So what does this look like from a global de development and cooperation perspective? This means economic growth. These BRICS members are countries that represent significant uh, increase in growth, sig a significant portion of the world's population, but also the global GDP. Every single country listed are experiencing growth. Now, being in South Africa, South African media likes to present the worst and the woe is me. And I find it very similar to what is happening in the media structure of the West. It's also owned by the corporations and the former occupiers of South Africa that are no longer in power, right? But the reality is tourism is actively increasing. Foreign investment is actively increasing. Banks are creating tools and products for foreign international investors to be able to come. It is currently a buyer's market, right? There is land available. The needs for agriculture, right, are so big because the West is creating meat in labs. They need land, they need agricultural inputs, and they're not creating those. And so when we talk about Iran, Egypt, the UAE, very heavy oil locations that have had to rely upon the US dollar to trade their oil with the world. These type of restrictions are, are lessening and essentially creating the economic growth that all of these countries are experiencing. BRICS can also provide insights into how developing economies are approaching issues like poverty reduction, sustainable development, and international cooperation. So gone are the days of having to go through these Western countries to seek approval and to understand how to do things. These developing countries are looking towards each other because they value what each other are doing in their respective countries and economies. Right? So these countries that have stayed true to their values, true to their religions, true to their cultures, are not being shifted or swayed by Western influence. Not all of them, right? I think South Africa is unique in that because South Africa has a lot of Western influence. However, some of that Western influence is what is keeping South Africa from its full potential, which essentially the people, the youth of South Africa are ready to take on that challenge. And I'm really confident in their ability to do that throughout their criticism and their, you know, their, their patriotism. They love their country and the youth of this country sees what the West has done wrong, sees how the power and the influence of the West, how it has corrupted its government and, and change, change will soon come here in this country. Um, but South Africa, as a part of BRICS, as a leader in the BRICS conglomerate, represents such a powerful community of Africans that, let me tell you, the world is not ready for. Um, so what else? 
understanding complex geopolitical dynamics. This is something that Americans know nothing about, geopolitics, right? I'm just gonna put it out there. You know, the reality is the BRICS conglomerate is able to understand and share notes. Despite the potential, there are internal challenges, right? These are massive, major countries with very strong, dynamic leadership that, you know, have their internal issues, their internal politics. But that's kind of the sense of a startup, right? Any startup with multiple founders is going to see, have challenges, but the reality is they're figuring it out and they're able to um, come together and have these summits protected where they're driving innovation and they're having conversation. And listen, I'm putting my money on the bricks. Let's just be honest. Um, what has been happening is not working. It is not creating a sense of security, even in their own, the own people, their own citizens, American citizens don't feel that sense of security. Um, things like climate change, energy security, global governance, like these things aren't solid in the US. In fact, they're deteriorating. And so while there are challenges in the nations that I mentioned, there's an upward trend. The trajectory is positive. Um, and so what does this boil down to? The power dynamics are shifting. BRICS member countries, particularly Russia, are increasingly using the group as a platform to assert their influence and their dominance and the power on a global stage. Okay, and this is relevant because when they host events and they're hosting these major leaders, these country leaders, the West is paying attention and they're scrambling to figure out how to dismantle it. You need to know about BRICS. As Americans, we cannot sit and put our hand in, head in the sand and say, oh, I don't know politics, I don't get into politics. I believe in divine order. I believe in abundance as an economist, my, my belief in my spiritual belief and my intellectual understandings can conflict because economics is about supply and demand and shortage and lack is a part of that understanding. But this is not meant to evoke fear, but more so understanding. Information is the most valuable asset you can have. And if you make informed decisions, you can thrive, but if you're not aware of what is happening, you are sure to fall victim to your ignorance. And it's not your fault, but it is your responsibility to be aware, do more research. I'll, link, I'll leave several links in the description below for you to learn more about this. But the reality is you need to be diversifying yourself, your residence, and your income. How can you do that? How can you learn to take tangible tools to implement them for your benefit and for the benefit of the community, the continent of Africa, and your family's generational wealth? Come to the Africa Investors Academy Virtual Summit taking place this month. It's the biggest gathering of diasporans and Africans from all over the continent, the most desirable countries in the continent, Ghana, Tanzania, and South Africa. Come, learn, get advice, get skills, get tools, get the tangible takeaways so that you can make informed decisions for yourself and your family. Don't get left behind. Secure your spot today. The link will also be in the description and I can't wait to see you there. And if you want premier access, exclusive access, backstage access, to be able to ask your questions to the experts that are gonna share everything about investing in real estate, starting a tourism business, building an agricultural business, getting involved in global and international trade, you wanna get your executive access pass because it's also gonna give you access to the recordings as well as a community of people that are gonna be there to support you on your journey. Cannot wait to see you. Click the link in the description, secure your, your seat today. And until the next video, I'll see you soon.